Alright, we're starting off the episode with a hard clue scroll that I got from my Abarrant Spectre's task. Let's start the episode with a bang. A red cavalier. <laughs> Alright, that'll do. He <laughs> just at level 78 hit points and 92 combat. It's been a little while since I've had a combat level because uh, I've been training magic and range quite a lot and uh, obviously I think I'm still melee based so not been getting combat levels for those but there we go, 92 combat. I fucking hate this step. It comes up so much. <sighs> oh my god, I'm poisoned as well. Great. So before I get a new task, I'm going to quickly unlock the superior slayer monsters because they are really good to get and uh, obviously give a lot more XP and stuff like that and some nice drops. So 54 points left. Let's see what we get. Great demons. That's decent. AFK. YOLO. Fucking easy game, mate. Who needs a main? Alright, here is the first hard clue score reward from my great Nimbus task. And very, very standard. Nice amount of Laura's. Okay, this is exciting. I got Ranger Boots here on my main. <laughs> Let's see what we get. A Bandos Mitre. Alright, not bad. Is that my third Guthix page 3? Let's have a look. Oh god. I know I have two of one kind, so we'll chuck it in. Oh no, it's a new one. Nice. Okay, this should be it right here. Level 75 attack coming in. <clears throat> Very nice. I'm going to start training my strength again now because, yeah. And I can now use an arc light, which is really nice. And I might actually go get that after this task. Alright, Neve, you know you want to give me some dust devils. Well, that's just some free points. I'll take that. This time. Fuck yeah, though. <laughs> what did I say? Hell yeah. Alright, Dust Devils, that's sick. I'm gonna get some nice measure XP from that, and then I'll probably finish it off with just uh, fire blasting my next task. Or bolting. There we go, I just finished my Dust Devil task, and uh, yeah, I got two Ancient Shards in the same inventory. Almost back to back as well. Have a look. Uh, yeah, see, right after each other, so. That's nice, I'm going to go make the arc light now, and then I'm going to attempt Scotizo. I think I have one or two full turns of the bank, so uh, yeah, we'll see how we can do it. So I actually had no idea I have my, this many Ancient Shards. I only need one more, and then I can have 4,000 charges, but right now, uh, I'll settle with 3,000, so let's see. And there we go, 1,000 charges, and then 2,000, and 3,000. Beautiful, okay. So I need to go get some snake grass quickly, and then I can do a Scotizo kill, so I guess I'll see you at Scotizo.
There we go, dude. Holy shit, that took a while. <laughs> but he's down. One of four, or five, I guess, right at the end of my Dragon Warhammer specs hit. So, that's kind of interesting. But two Ancient Shards, High Clue Scroll, and three Rune Plate Skirts, which is really nice. So, gonna go do this High Clue Scroll now. And that is not in the Wilderness, which is very nice. RIP! Fucking Rune Boots. Neve. Give me Kurasks. Mate. Y'all are so fucking hot. Okay, I just got my first ever superior on this account, and it is a King Kurask. So give me the imbued heart, please. And deliver words. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just got another superior, like 20 kills later or so, so. That's pretty lucky since these are 1 in 200, so... Yeah, see so what we get from this one. Hopefully I can stop hitting zeros every single time. Right, okay. Okay. I think that should be it. <laughs> Fucking Jagex. Really nice XP drop though, and... a lot of herbs. Okay, so I managed to complete my caress task in a second trip, which is really nice, and I actually just got a hard clue skull on like the second to last kill. So that's also I'm gonna do that after I get a new task. Um, 220k in outs from that task and a nice amount of herbs and secondaries and uh, stuff like that, so very nice. Let's try it for another one. Fire Giants, that's decent. One more elk. There we go, level 77 magic has been achieved. That is an awesome milestone because I can now use the Super Glass Make spell, which is going to make crafting so much easier, so gonna go test it out and do some crafting. I'll bear it back with some levels. So, here's a slight change of plan. I have started making air orbs. Why? Because I'm not a pussy and it is significantly faster than making fire orbs. It's more XP when you make the battle staffs and yeah, I can't be doing with fire orbs anymore. They're fucking slow. Um, the PKs are pretty dreadful anyway, I'm pretty sure I have a very large chance of surviving if I do get attacked. And there's a lot of players there anyway, so there's a small chance of me actually getting attacked, as I am actually standing behind the obelisk when I make them as well, so... We should be fine. I also have five sharks just for, sort of, safety, and yeah, I can always just run through the black demons or skeletons or whatever, and uh, whoever's attacking me will, or should get PJ'd by them, so... I don't think I'll have a problem here. Um, I'm obviously just doing this because it's so much faster XP and I will be making money a lot quicker as well when I make the battle stuff. So uh, I have about 3,000 to make right now. I spent a couple of hours buying cosmic runes just because I don't want to mine essence to make them. And yes, I have a thousand to make so I'll be back when I've crafted all those orbs and then I will start making battle stuffs. Okay, so I'm gonna do the orbs in increments of a thousand. I just charged a thousand air orbs, and I'm now buying battle staffs to put them together. Obviously, now I'm gonna make a lot of money, which is gonna be really nice because I've been doing this for quite a little while now, and it'll be nice just to get something out of it. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll update you when I finish the. Oh, I'll update you with 70 crafting because I'll be getting that pretty soon, and. Uh, yeah, I'll show you how much money made I made after the 1,000 as well, so let's do it. And there we go, just hit level 70 at crafting. I can now make diamond amulets, and only 5 to go until my goal of Slayer Rings is completed, so it's going to take a while, but we will get there very slowly. Okay, so while I've been waiting for the login limit timer thing, which is really a fucking annoying, by the way, um, to sort of stop and reset, I've been just sitting at the bank and fletching, so... To level 75, and I can now make rune arrows, which I will probably not make, but uh, pretty nice milestone anyway, so there we go. And I am very close to finishing a thousand air staffs, I think, so yeah, actually about halfway through, so I'm going to get about 2.5 mil cash from this baby, which is really awesome. Alright, there is level 71 crafting, and I can now actually make blue dehyde bodies, which I have a requirement for in my bank on this high glue scroll here, so I can I just complete this now? Um, I'm going to do that after I finish making all these battle staffs because uh, I don't really want to use uh, leave Luna Isle and have to use another teleport scroll, so 
Yeah, I'll just do that afterwards. So, quick change of plans again. <laughs> I think, I'm not entirely sure yet, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get 72 Slayer before I carry on with any more crafting, after I make these a thousand. Because... I don't like buying cosmic runes, it just it seems very pointless to me when I can just uh, craft them quite easily. So I'm going to get 72 Slayer Camp Wyverns for a bit for 6,000 pure essence, and then I'm going to make all the rest of the cosmic runes that I need to make, and then I can just do it all self-sufficient without having to buy stuff, because I don't like buying stuff and it takes way too long anyway, so. And uh, yeah, the shops only have like 20 cosmic runes stocked at one time, so it's pretty bad. Um, so yeah, I'll finish these. And I'll get a nice amount of cash, put some in the miscellaneous, and then we'll do a level and a little bit of Slayer, so look forward to that. Okay, just doing some agilitalking right now. I don't know what to call it, but <laughs> that's a magic level, level 78. I actually got that magic level all from crafting, which is quite interesting, because I actually got quite a lot of passive XP just doing crafting, uh, from charging the orbs, alkin, stuff like that, so... Yeah, quite nice, and uh, I'm almost finished with these battle staffs. <laughs> Okay, so let's start by putting another mill in the coffer. Oh, I just have to fucking type it out. There we go, beautiful. And uh, yeah, let's get some Slayer and hopefully get 72 pretty quickly. That was weird. I got the chest straight away. I didn't actually have to kill the double agent. Very sure. I've never seen that before in 320 hard clues, but okay, that means third age. Yeah, 15k. Fucking hell, my hard clue rewards are fucking terrible. Apart from the Robin Hood hat, I can't complain about that, but <laughs> apart from that, they've been pretty dreadful. Medium clearly scroll. See what we get. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, alright. <laughs> 76 range coming in on my fire giant's task. I have 75 of these left, they're pretty bad, but uh, safe spot on them right here is uh, decent and it's uh, alright range XP as well, so not too bad. Level 71 Slayer coming in. Very, very nice indeed. And an insult giant head. So, I think I'm going to end the episode there because I want to get it up to night. And, yeah, seems like a good way to end anyway on, on a Slayer level. Because uh, I'll get the next one next time. And where the fuck am I going? And, uh, yeah, hopefully next episode we'll be camping some wyverns. So, look forward to that. And I hope you did enjoy this one. That's my cat in the background. You can probably hear her. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few days.